Back in the 1970s, the Voyager probes embarked on an unprecedented journey into space. For over 45 years, these modestly designed and equipped spacecraft have transmitted invaluable data, and became the first human-made objects to reach interstellar space. Voyager 1, in particular, has continued to astonish NASA, especially as it ventures millions of kilometers away from Earth into the distant reaches of the cosmos. In 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed into interstellar space, a region beyond the influence of our Sun and even the nearest stars. This vast, largely unexplored realm remains full of unknowns. Despite its age and simple technology, Voyager 1 continues to deliver insights. Alongside its twin, Voyager 2, the probe was equipped with basic instruments, cameras, and radio wave receivers. The cameras were shut down long ago to conserve power, but the radio receivers remain operational. It was through these still active instruments that something truly strange occurred not long ago, Voyager 1 detected mysterious radio waves coming from the depths of interstellar space. For a long time, Voyager 1 remained silent. But recently, it surprised scientists by transmitting unexpected sounds back to Earth. From a staggering distance of 23 billion kilometers, the probe picked up a faint, continuous hum, so subtle that it had to be technically amplified just to be heard. This marked a groundbreaking moment, the first audio signals ever received from interstellar space. Researchers quickly offered an explanation. The sound likely originates from low-level vibrations in the interstellar medium, a region filled mainly with hydrogen and plasma. Interestingly, even at this extreme distance, the lingering effects of solar winds may still be influencing these gases, causing the disturbances. As we await further transmissions from Voyager 1 and 2, both spacecraft continue their silent journey through the cosmos. Though they may travel for thousands more years, NASA anticipates losing radio contact sometime this year or the next, bringing to a close an extraordinary mission that has lasted over 45 years. The Voyager probes revolutionized our understanding of space, capturing detailed images of the outer planets and offering the first glimpses into the Kuiper Belt and beyond. They've also helped scientists explore a fundamental mystery, where exactly does our solar system end and interstellar space begin? Our sun constantly emits streams of plasma into space through what we call solar winds, creating a vast, spherical bubble of charged particles known as the heliosphere, an invisible atmosphere that envelopes our entire solar system. After spending their early years exploring the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and even Pluto, the Voyager probes continued their journey into the unknown, venturing into regions of space no spacecraft had ever reached before. Throughout their incredible voyage, the probes endured immense stress and harsh conditions, yet their systems continued to operate flawlessly. Experts today credit this remarkable endurance to the probe's simple yet highly effective design. Compared to today's advanced technology, the Voyagers are basic, much like comparing a cassette player to an MP3 device, or a rotary phone to a smartphone. Still, scientists had high hopes that these aging instruments would last long enough to send us data from the outermost edge of the solar system. And those hopes were realized. Years after Voyager 1 had left the last planets behind, it began transmitting data showing rapidly fluctuating magnetic fields. Because no spacecraft had ever entered this region before, scientists had no clear idea where exactly within the heliosphere Voyager 1 was located. It was truly uncharted territory, scientifically thrilling and filled with uncertainty. On Earth, each signal received, every slight adjustment in the probe's instruments, was met with excitement and awe. At the solar system's edge, conditions seem chaotic, marked by turbulent flares, swirling solar winds, and magnetic fields that shift and overlap, growing stronger and weaker in unpredictable patterns. Researchers were able to detect a powerful solar flare weeks after it occurred, right at the edge of our solar system. 
That delay was due to the time it took for plasma streams to travel the immense distance of 10 to 15 billion kilometers. These plasma streams move at about 1,000 kilometers per second, which is significantly slower than the speed of light. When directed at Earth, they typically arrive within just one to two days. Voyager spacecraft played a crucial role in capturing data on these remarkable flows of particles and solar winds. For the first time, it was also able to receive radio signals from solar flares far from the sun. At the outer boundary of the heliosphere, the sun's plasma clouds, still relatively warm and thin, collide with the colder, denser interstellar plasma. This interaction creates a drag that shapes and compresses the heliosphere's edge. Voyager's instruments detected much denser particle flows just before the spacecraft officially crossed into interstellar space. Contrary to being stationary or suspended in plasma, our solar system moves through the interstellar medium at a speed of roughly 84,000 kilometers per hour. Voyager's measurements at the edge of the heliosphere confirmed these speeds for the first time. In a way, the entire solar system was traveling through space alongside the tiny probe. It was astonishing to observe how the probe's flight characteristics shifted dramatically the moment it entered interstellar space. Although Voyager 1 and 2 were launched decades ago, they aren't sluggishly drifting through space. Instead, they're hurtling through the cosmos at an incredible speed of 61,000 kilometers per hour. This immense velocity is essential to traverse the vastness of space. To illustrate, Voyager 1 set its course toward the edge of the solar system back in the fall of 1980, yet it wasn't until the summer of 2012 that it finally arrived. Specifically, it reached the heliopause, the boundary marking the outermost region of the heliosphere, where the solar wind and its magnetic fields are still influential. But how does NASA continue to communicate with Voyager 1 after all these years? The spacecraft has now been in space for an astonishing 17,374 days. Given that it's nearly 25 billion kilometers away from the Sun, maintaining contact is no small feat. The first challenge is time. A single signal from Earth takes around 23 hours to reach Voyager 1. And naturally, another 23 hours pass before a response makes its way back, assuming the signal successfully returns at all. Communicating with Voyager 1 has been a nerve-wracking challenge for NASA in recent times. About five months ago, the probe was expected to activate just one of its heaters. Instead, it mistakenly triggered a protective protocol that shut down the X-band radio transmitter, Voyager's main method of communication. To re-establish contact, NASA had to fall back on the S-band transmitter, a backup system that hadn't been used in 43 years. Thankfully, engineers managed to detect its weaker signal and reconnected with the spacecraft. But how is this even possible? The answer lies in the Deep Space Network, a global system of large radio antennas that's been expanded multiple times to support long-distance missions like Voyager. In fact, the Voyager program is one of the last remaining reasons to keep the massive 70-meter antennas and their complex receiving equipment in operation. However, this won't last much longer. Once the Voyager mission officially ends, these giant antennas will also be retired. Experts predict this could happen by the middle of the next decade, as the probes continue to drift farther away, by roughly 540 million kilometers every year. Still, losing radio contact won't mark the end of Voyager's journey. Unless something unexpected occurs, both spacecraft will keep silently flying through space long after humanity may be gone. And on board each one is a unique artifact, the Voyager Golden Record. This record holds audio and visual data about Earth and its people, a message carefully crafted in hopes that one day, an alien civilization might discover it. The famous, Pale Blue Da, reminds us just how small we truly are in the vastness of the cosmos. It's no surprise, this iconic image captures our home planet from an astonishing distance of 6 billion kilometers. But it begs the question, 
Will we ever see new images like it? Sadly, the answer is no. The cameras on both Voyager probes were switched off long ago.